Good evening. Buenas noches. Good evening, Patricia. How are you today? Fine. Okay, that's great. I was um, wondering if you could hear me well. <laughs> But if you can hear me, that's great. I think Gabriela has problems. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Silvia. Oh, but well, she can hear us. Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to, to be here with you this evening. Um, well, my name is Rocio Chicas, and I will have the pleasure to be your teacher this course, okay? So, um, well, first of all, we are going to make sure that everybody is connected and everybody can hear very well, ¿ok? Nos vamos a asegurar que todos puedan escucharme, ¿verdad? Puedan conectarse al audio, eso vamos a hacer ahorita. Parece que Lisette tiene problemas para conectar su audio. Vamos a ver si podemos ayudarle. ¿Qué se me hizo? Creo que salió y volvió, va a volver a entrar posiblemente. Oh. Hola, ¿Todos pueden noches. escucharme muy bien? Yes. 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 Ok, that's great. Very good. I'm yeah. going to share Very the well. screen. I'm going to share the screen so you can see the class, okay? My PowerPoint for today. Let me know, please, if you can see the screen. Okay. Pueden ver la pantalla? Can you see yes. the screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yes. yes I okay. So, as I was telling you, my name is Rocío Chicas. I am going to be your facilitator in this course, Beginner Three. Okay. So in, we are in the first section, we are going to study going to for future plans. But first, we are going to start with the vocabulary, months and dates, right? Months and dates. Um, can somebody tell me some examples of months and dates? Month, January, February. March, May, June, July, April, September, October, November, and December. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we are going to be uh, studying tonight. Okay. So I have this slide. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Beginner 3. Okay. As you can see, my name is Rocio Chicas. I am a teacher. I teach English because I enjoy helping others and also because it's fun. Okay, what about you? Can you tell me why are you learning English? 
Yes, I like um, I like to speak in English and and translate to the Spanish the Spanish to English. Okay, that's great that you like it. Okay, somebody else. I am going to learn English um, to help me in the in my work. Okay, that's an important reason, okay, because you are going to use it at work. Okay, let's do something because it's the first time that we see each other. I would like you to introduce yourself. You can say my name is, for example, Rocio Chicas, and tell me the reason, la razón, the reason why you are learning English. Okay, tell me the reason why you are learning English. ¿Por qué está estudiando inglés? Okay, y si usted quiere compartir otra información acerca de usted, it's okay, it's perfect. Okay, I want to share more information about me and my, about my personal infor, information. Um, as I was telling you, I'm a teacher. I've been teaching for, let me see, um, seven years. Mm -hmm. I'm 28 years old. I graduated in 2014. And I am currently teaching at a scholarship program. I'm teaching uh, teenagers, okay? Every day from Monday to Friday, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., okay? And then in the evenings, I'm gonna be here giving you the class, okay? <laughs> At Inglés Corporativo. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna do it like one by one, so everybody can have like some seconds to introduce yourself. If you want, you can say your profession or occupation and the reason why you are learning English. Vamos a ver, se van a presentar. Teacher, teacher excuse me. Uh, how says, no, how say, how says. Eh, ama de casa. Housewife. Housewife, okay. <laughs> Thank Housewife. You. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so maybe we can start with Patricia. Okay. Patricia Veronica, because we have two Patricias. <laughs> Please. Yes. Uh, uh, I am Patricia. I am housewife. Mm, I me perdí. Okay, este, you can say I live in Zacatecol. No, you live in Lourdes, right? You can say I live, I, I live in Lourdes. Um, eh, para decir, estoy aprendiendo inglés. Perdón. I am learning English. I am learning English because estoy aprendiendo I, porque. Uh -huh. I learn learn English why oh, because I like it <laughs> because I like it okay <laughs> okay now we continue with Patricia Herrera okay uh, good evening everybody my name is Patricia Herrera de Villafranco I am 50 55 years old I am a doctor, I am gynecology, and uh, I am study English because I like it very much. Since I was a little girl, a little girl, and uh, I was study uh, so la. Sola, o sea, myself. Okay, yes, uh, for myself. Uh, sola. But uh, now I am studying with you. <laughs> um, I am very grateful for that. Okay, yeah. Hey, so we are she says, she says very 
more English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Isabel, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Uh, good evening, every, everybody. My name is Isamar Bides. Bides. I live in Soyapango City. Um, I am learning because uh, I like, uh, I like, and I need a uh, work <laughs> because in this moment I I am housewife. Okay, Isabel, very good. <laughs> I mean, the attitude, your attitude is very important when you're learning a language and you have okay. a very nice attitude. Okay, Lisa, it's your turn. Good evening. Uh, my name is Lisette Hernandez. I I live in, in San Salvador. I study or oh, I learn English para ese se me ha olvidado cómo se dice. Eh, to? Eh, up to uh, learning uh, learning English to uh, understand and speak it. And I, uh, uh, I, bueno, yo soy auditora. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. Okay, very good. Thank you, Lisette. Okay, now who's next? Jenny Marisol? My name is Jenny Perez. I live in Santa Ana. Um, ¿Cómo se puede decir que trabaja como, digamos, eh, gerente de una empresa? Okay, you can say it. I am a manager in a company. Okay. okay, Jenny, thank you for sharing. What about Jancy? Okay, I, my name is Jancy Mayen. I'm 48 years old. Uh, my birthday is on August. I live in Zacatecoluca. Uh, I know uh, Patricia Herrera. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, you are my doctor. Um, uh, my favorite is for basketball. I like English <sighs> because it's interesting. I like to translate to the Spanish to English, and it's my it's my hobby. Uh, the English, yes, I like. Only that. Thank you, Yancy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are meeting. I mean, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet meeting. you, Yancy. <laughs> okay, now we are going to ask. Um, let me see. Eric Martinez. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmate. Uh, my name is Eric Martinez. Uh, I have uh, 28 years and my prof, my profit is uh, psychology. Um, thank you. Wow, Eric, we have the same age. I am 28 years old too. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Somebody was raising the hand. Uh, I think it was, let me see, who was this person? Isa, okay, Isa. Isa Ortiz. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Isa Ortiz. I am a sales person and, product, and financial products, and I work in the bank, and I learn mm -hmm. English because I like it, and um, teacher, how did you say superación personal? I want to grow as a person. Uh, okay, I like it, and I want, uh, want to grow. And as I, a person. Mm -hmm. I am a person. 
Only that. Okay, thank you. Jenny Sanchez. Good evening. Good evening. I am, a, I am Jenny. My name is Jenny Sanchez. I am a system engineer and I want to apply English in my work. I learned a little, a little uh, English. Uh, see, see films with the subtitle in English and como se dice audio? Audios. Oh, audios. Audio. In, mm -hmm. Audio in Spanish. Okay, thank you, Yanni. Okay, uh, this is going to be the first round. We are going to finish the first round of introducing ourselves with Modesto Rosa, and then we're going to have a second round in some minutes. Okay, Modesto. Good evening. My, Good evening. Name, is, my name is Modesto Avalos. I am 20 years old. I live in Go to the Peque Siri. Uh, I learning English uh, because I consider that very important for my life. And that's it. It is very important nowadays. It is. So thank you, Modesto, for sharing. And wow, you're from Cojute. <laughs> okay, uh, very good. I'm going to share my screen again to continue with the class, with the presentation. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So yes, here we say to talk about the future, we have to learn months, days of the week, and also ordinal numbers. Okay. So uh, here we have an exercise. You have to order the days of the week. Can you please do it in your notebook? You have to put the days of the week in order, okay? Here you can see Sunday, Friday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But you have to put the days of the week in order. What is the first day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. For me, Monday. Okay. No, Sunday. <laughs> okay. The Actually, day, I think it's the, 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 the first day is Sunday, but most people know that it's Monday. For the work. Okay. Exactly. Because we start work on Monday. Okay. So we can start with that, with Monday. Are you finished? Yes. Okay, so now let's check. The first day is Monday. Okay, Monday. try to repeat. Okay, try to repeat. Then we have Monday. Tuesday. 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 Wednesday. 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 Thursday. 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 Friday. Friday. Saturday. 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 And finally, Sunday. 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 Yes. Yeah. Sometimes we would like to have a Sunday day of. 25 or 26 hours, right? <laughs> Un domingo de 26 horas. That would be nice. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Now we are going to continue with the months of the year. Again, I would like you to put the months of the years in order in your notebook. If you don't have a notebook, you can do it in your cell phone, right? Sometimes you have a, an application for notes on your cell phone. Uh, yeah. And meanwhile, 
while you are mm -hmm. writing mm -hmm. the months of the year, I will tell you the pronunciation, okay? But you, I mean, you can um, uh, turn off your audio, but you can repeat it by yourself, okay? For yourself. Pueden ahí apagar el audio y lo pueden repetir, ¿verdad? Para ustedes mismos. Uh -huh. December, June, May, July, January, March, October, November, September, February, August, and April. Now, I would like somebody, a volunteer, to tell me the first six months of the year and another volunteer to tell me the other six months of the year. Okay. Hi, teacher. The first. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Patricia. Just let me see. Let me see more participants. Uh huh. Volunteers. Remember, the more you participate, the more you learn. Um, okay, Isa, you're going to say the first six months. Teacher, excuse me. Eh, levantando la mano con el símbolo o interrumpiendo porque. No, está, porque... está bien con con el emoji. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, Jenny can't um, say the other, the rest of the months, okay? So let's start. Isa? Okay, it's, it's January, February, March, April, May, and June. Good job. Okay, now Jenny, Thank please. You. Hi. July, August, September, October, November, and December. Excellent. Okay, let's give her, an, let's give them an applause. <laughs> yes, okay, please repeat after me because it's important to know the correct pronunciation, okay? January, 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 February, 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 March, 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 March April, 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 May, 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 May June, 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 July, May, July, 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 August, August, August September, 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 October. October, November, November, December. December. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so now we have days of the week and we have the months. And now we also need the ordinal numbers to and create the dates or to say the dates. Para hacer una fecha o decir una fecha necesitamos los días de la semana, los meses y ahora los números ordinales. ¿Ok? Los que van en orden, no los cardinales, sino los ordinal numbers. What are the ordinal numbers? Ok, I would like you to uh, turn off your audio because I'm um, I'm going to say all of them in order and I would like you just to I mean listen and repeat by for yourself okay please okay so you can mute okay thank you Jenny do you have a question sí teacher tengo una duda okay Este, yo entré a la plataforma el día de ayer, parece. Este, pero en, en, las, en, los, en los módulos anteriores siempre en la plataforma estaba como el manual. No sé si en esta ocasión no va a haber manual. Lo que vio fue el video, ¿verdad? Los, unos videos. 
Ajá, vi los videos, pero no vi como en, en otras veces la plataforma el, el manual. Que usted lo puede imprimir, lo puede tener, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En esta ocasión sí no lo vi. No sé si yo no, 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 no me fijé, pero sí no, no lo vi en lo que es parte de la plataforma. Ok, yo les, les dejo una respuesta mañana por el WhatsApp. Ok, gracias. Perfecto a eso. Ok, now I'm going to say the ordinal numbers, ok. And we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, 18, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. And sorry, first, fourth, first, fourth. first. <laughs> okay. Um, if you notice, these uh, numbers they have a very special ending. First, with the abbreviation, you have to write the number one, and you have to add s. T, the last two letters in the word. Okay, I'm gonna share the screen again. Look, we have first, you need to add the ST. For second, and in, in the abbreviation, you write two and D, which are the last two letters, second. For third, we have the number three, R, D. Third, four and until 20th, we have that the last two letters are the TH. So you write the number and you add TH. And the pronunciation is like this, right? Fourth, fifth, sixth. And that makes the difference with the cardinal numbers, okay? And I wrote here until the number 31st because when we write the dates, we only need 31st numbers because the month has 31 dates, right? Okay, let's continue. You can find this information in the platform. There is a video in which you can practice, you can watch the video and practice the pronunciation of the ordinal numbers. Now, this is the this is very important what we are going to see now. Let's learn about dates. Today, what day is today? Let me ask Angela, Mariela. And today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Exactly. That's the day. Today is Wednesday. And it's which month? July. July. Exactly. So July. today is Wednesday. 14th. July 14th. 20. 21. 21. So when we want to say the date, la fecha, first you have to you say the subject or the special date. It can be today, tomorrow, or only the it. Then you have to use the verb to be. In this case, is. Today is. And then the day, Wednesday or Monday, or Friday, or Saturday. And you start the day with a capital letter, right? You put the capital letter at the beginning of the day and also of the month. 
Wednesday with capital letter, July with capital letter. Okay, this is very important because in Spanish it's different, but in English you have to write the days of the week and the months of the year with a capital letter. And that's very important to keep in mind when you are doing the exercise in the platform, okay? Vamos a ver quién me puede decir qué es lo que acabo de explicar. In English. Or in yes. Spanish. Okay. Dijo, dijo no, que, no que las, los días de la semana y los meses en inglés tenían que iniciar con la letra mayúscula. Siempre exactly. que era diferente al español. Exactly. Yes. Very good. Ok, let's continue. So we have today is Wednesday and then we can put a comma <laughs> and we say the month, July, July 14th. Okay, we use the ordinal number. And instead of writing 14th, we just put the number with the TH, right? And then the year, the year, you can say the year like this, you can say it First, the first two numbers and then the last two, 20, 21. Esa es una manera, that's one way. Otra manera de decirlo es decir el número completo en inglés, que sería, que vamos a ver quién me lo puede decir. 2021, 2021. 2021. ¿Cuál es más fácil? 2021. Both. <laughs> Por mí, por mí, por mí. 2021. Yeah, that's the easiest way. Or if you want, you can say nah, uh, 2021. Ok. Vamos a ver. Entonces, aquí estamos todos bien con esto. Yes, miss. Yes. Vale, porque vamos a practicar. Yes. Ok. Uh, una pregunta en español. <laughs> Ajá, y también yeah. los, los meses llevan al inicio mayúscula, porque en español es minúscula si vamos en medio, en medio de una oración. Sí, Acá en inglés es capital letter. Yes, in English you have to start days of the week and months of the year with capital letter. Así como okay. se ve en el ejemplo, Wednesday está con capital letter and July also with capital letter. Okay? Thank you. Uh, teacher, a question. Yes? Eh, aunque, aunque estemos haciendo un párrafo, digamos, siempre va a ir en, en mayo. Sí, los meses y los días de la semana, aunque vayan en medio de una oración, los meses y los días de la semana van a ir con mayúsculas. En el grupo de WhatsApp, mañana, ¿verdad? Les voy a compartir eh, las reglas de las capital letters in English, ¿verdad? Le usamos las mayúsculas o capital letters for names, para los nombres propios. Eh, countries and nationalities, para los países y las nacionalidades. For days of the week, months of the year, holidays, los días festivos. Uh -huh. Ten, ajá, para eso los utilizamos y also when you start a sentence y cuando comenzamos una oración ok Thank so let's you, practice sir. y quien hizo una pregunta let's practice no sé quién hizo una pregunta yo solo le dije gracias. Ah, ok. <ríe> ah, ok. Vaya, voy a, voy a hacer aquí algunas que no les he escuchado. Les voy a preguntar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Kimberly. What day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is a Thursday 15th of 2021. Yes, tomorrow is Thursday. Great. And I'm happy that you also say the date. Yeah, tomorrow is July 
It's Thursday, July 15th. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, now, Andrea Berenice, can you tell me when is your birthday? Okay, uh, my birthday is on 13, uh, no, sorry, May 13. Okay, first the month. Primero decimos el mes. Ajá, May. my birthday is on May 13. Okay, May 14th. Yes. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to ask Albert Franklin. ¿Será que está por ahí? Hay más chicas que chicos en este grupo, pero vamos a... Los chicos también tienen que participar. Vamos a ver, Albert. Which days do you work? Which day do you work? In my case... I work from Monday to Friday. Yo trabajo desde el lunes hasta el viernes. And in your case, en su caso, which days do you work? I know, I know working, I'm a student. Ah, okay. So which days do you study? Uh, I study. Monday to Friday. Okay, you study from Monday to Friday. Yeah. Okay, right excellent, Albert. Thank you for sharing. Okay, let me see another person. Monica Esther. When is the next vacation? Is on August. It's on August. Yes, very soon. We are we are um waiting the vacation, right? Okay, this is important. Uh, the pronunciation is vacation, okay? Vacation. Vacation. Si tienen problemas de señal de internet, pues gracias a Dios que tenemos la oportunidad de ver el video el día de mañana ya va a estar subido en YouTube. Y ahí lo pueden ver, ¿verdad? La clase. Ok. Now, Carlita, Alejandrina, Turcias, what's your favorite holiday? Holiday, for example, Christmas, New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, Labor Day, el Día del Trabajo, eh, August Festivities, or um, the Summer Holidays, las del verano. What's your favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite, my favorite holiday is Christmas. Okay, nice. Thank you. And when is it? When is Christmas? It is on December uh, twenty five. December twenty twenty five. Okay, and if you use the ordinal number. It is on December 25th. 25th. 25th, perdón. 25th, yes. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay. Do you have any questions with this practice? No, teacher. Okay. No question. No questions. Okay. I would like some people uh, to ask other people when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Okay. For example, Lizeth Martinez, can you ask Liduvina? Lizeth uh, Martinez, can you ask? L Ludivina es es Ludivina o, o Liduvina. Así como está escrito ahí. Ah, Ludivina. Okay. Ludivina. Ay, mire qué interesante. Yo conozco, había escuchado el nombre Liduvina, Ludivina. pero el suyo es Ludivina. Ludivina. Okay, interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. Lisa, please ask 
Ludivina about her birthday. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Bueno, quizás no está Lisa. Ludivina, when is your birthday? Yo sé que estoy, yo soy Lisette, pero no, no le entendí lo que dijo. Ah, ok. Que le pregunte a Ludivina sobre su eh, cumpleaños. When is your birthday? Ludivina, where is your bride? Bra, happy birth, bride. Birth, birthday. When is your birthday? Uh, where is your birthday? Bueno, les voy a poner la pantallita para que ahí se ayuden, ¿verdad? Sería bueno que tomen nota también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. When is your birthday? Entonces, Liduvina puede, no, Ludivina puede ese, contestar aquí. My birthday is on. Y recuerden que primero, ¿qué van a poner? The month. The month. Exactly. The month. The month. And then. And then. Date. The date. Ajá. Entonces. ¿Cómo sería? My birthday. Excuse me. My birthday is. Is. Second. Um, um, second, May, um, um, is on May, May, is on May second. Ok, my birthday is on May 2nd. Uh -huh. ¿Pueden ver lo sí. que estoy escribiendo en la pantalla? Yes, yes. sí, se ve. Ok, va. entonces, yes. May 2nd. Ok, first the month and then the day. Ok, vamos a ver la siguiente diapositiva, the next slide. Vamos a ver, remember, and this is very important, and you can keep this in mind, you can copy this if you want. Remember that we use the preposition on, I am sorry, we use the preposition on for a specific dates and days of the week. Examples, I was born on February 17th, 1993. Nací el 17 de febrero de 1993. I was born on. So February 17th, 1993 is an a specific, is a specific date. Es una fecha específica. That's why I use the preposition. Which preposition? On. Oh. On, exactly. Another example. The final exam is on August 14th. 14th. Uh -huh. yeah, the final yeah, exam final is on exam. August um, 13th. August. No hay un año, pero sí hay una fecha específica. August 14th. ¿Verdad? Entonces, for dates, specific dates and days, we use the preposition on. On, exactly. But um. when we talk about months in general, in years, we use the preposition in. Example, Christmas is in December. I graduated in 2014. So I only use one month, 
Christmas is in December, but I am not saying the specific day. Solo digo que es en diciembre en general. O me gradué en el 2014. So I use the preposition in. Okay. Very good. Muy bien. Now, guys. Eh, bueno, are you taking notes? No sé si están tomando nota. Are you taking notes? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Lo voy a dejar ahí some yes. seconds. Lo voy a dejar unos, unos segunditos para que puedan tomar nota. Yeah. <laughs> Sería muy bueno que, que pudieran poner su, su camarita, si es posible, ¿verdad? Para poder verlos. Y así yo los voy conociendo un poco mejor. En el video producción de la vez pasada nos dijeron que la oh. tenían que tener encendida. Deben tenerla encendida. Sí. Yes. Teacher, excuse me, I have a question. Yes, it's a man. The pronunciation of preposition on is on or on? On. <laughs> mm -hmm. On. On. Uh, con N, así, mm, sonido de N. Mm. Exactly. On. On. Como, on. por ejemplo, Juan. No, Juan, no, no. Juan. On. On. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I have another question here from Albert. It says on, también significa encender? Yes. <laughs> That's the oh. answer. Bueno, en realidad para decir encender decimos turn on. Es que es una preposición. Oh. Ajá, es un, y ahí tenemos... El verbo turn and on es encender. Turn on. Uh -huh. Muy bien. ¿Podemos ya pasar a la siguiente actividad? Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Muy bien. And the next activity is the wrap up. Pero aquí ustedes van a demostrar lo que han aprendido el día de ahora. In this class, okay? Entonces, what does it mean wrap up? I'm sorry? Wrap, what does it mean? Wrap up. Wrap up. Okay, wrap up in, um, in the class is an activity uh, to end the class. And you can, um, bueno, se va a explicar en español. For a review? No. Exactly, it's a review. Uh -huh. Wrap up en realidad, sí, literalmente significa envolver. Como por ejemplo, los wrapped, bueno, hay, um, por ejemplo, burritos, usted puede burritos. wrap a present, ¿verdad? Wrap a present como envolver un regalo, <risa> pero en, en este contexto significa que usted va a consolidar, esa era la palabra que andaba buscando, consolidate your learning, va a consolidar su aprendizaje de la clase, entonces con estos ejercicios ustedes van a, van a ver si han comprendido, ¿verdad? La clase de ahora. Sí, yes, ok, Muy bien, muy bien, so the wrap up. I have some questions here, solo quiero, um, I want to erase. Okay, the first question is, what are, I'm sorry, pueden ver la pantalla? Can you see the screen? Yes. yes. Okay, so aquí tengo un problemita. What are the days of the week? They are, they are Sunday, Monday, 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 Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 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 Wednesday Friday, 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 Saturday, 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 Saturday,
Sunday. <laughs> okay, I will ask one person only to tell me the days of the week. I want to hear, let me see, Elizabeth Raquel Rivera. What are the days of the week, Elizabeth? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Excellent pronunciation, Elizabeth. Okay, now I want to listen to Denis Urquiza. Denis, how do you spell January? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. teacher. Hello, Denis. You listen to me? How do you spell January? Como de letrea. How do you spell January? J A N U A R R J J The last letter. J Y. It's y. y. It's Y. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, Denise. What about Alba? Alba, miren esta pregunta. It's different. No dice cuándo es tu cumpleaños, sino que dice what's your birth date, que es cu cuál es tu fecha de nacimiento. Hello, what's your birth date? Hello, my birth date is December 10, 1972. Okay, thank you, Alba. Yes. Okay. And remember that you have to put the preposition on. Huh? My birth date is on um i forget it december you said <laughs> december 10th <10. laughs> december 10th 19 1972 right right okay thank you alba now fatima del carmen martinez hola when's your mm -hmm. best friend's birthday cuando es your uh -huh, your best friend's birthday When's mm. your best friend's birthday? Mm, el cumpleaños de mi amiga? Yes, exactly. Your best friend. Uh, my best friend's in birthday, mm -hmm. birthday is on October. October 2023. Mm, okay, what about using the ordinal numbers? Number. Mm -hmm. Remember that for dates, we use ordinal numbers. So your, uh -huh. In, instead of 23, it's 20. 23. 23rd. 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 Okay, okay, I'm gonna ask you again. When's your best friend's birthday? When's your best? Best friend of me. No comprendo, Miss. Vaya, eh, sí, les decía que para decir las fechas usamos los números ordinales, ¿verdad? Ajá, 23rd. 23rd. I know it's difficult. That, uh, a mí también me costó cuando estaba aprendiendo inglés, crea de valor, que me costaba pronunciar la TH. 
y también el 13 y el third eran very difficult for me to pronounce, so don't worry. But try, that's the important thing. A mí me costaba pronunciar el 13 y el, y el tercero y la TH. Pero bueno, con practice, practice, and practice, you can get it. Yes. Uh -huh. Entonces, Fátima quiere intentarlo una vez más. When's your best friend's birthday? Uh, my best friend is birthday is on to <laughs> Se me olvida a mí. October. October. Sería 23, no, no. 20? 20? 3rd. 3rd. Ajá, on October 23rd. Ok, good. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. That's why I'm here. ¿Alguien dijo teacher? Yo. ¿Me podría repetir cómo se pronuncia el Ter, o sea, primero, segundo, tercero, o sea, el tres o. First. Fa. Second. Second. Ajá, second. Third. El, el otro. Third. Third. Uh -huh. Third. Ah, gracias. Third. Ok, what about Vanessa? The next question, Vanessa, is. What's your favorite month and why? It's May um, because for my birthday. Oh, because of your birthday. Okay, thank you. Eric Martinez. Which preposition do you use with days and dates? Ah, teacher, aún voy en camino yo a mi casa. Por esa ah. razón no... Sí, sí. Por eso igual no tengo encendida mi cámara. Ah, ok, ok, no problem. Verónica Rivas. Thank you. Which preposition do you use with days and dates? Para los días y las fechas específicas, ¿cuál es la preposición? Which preposition do you use? Uh, buenas noches, teacher. Fíjese que me quedé trabajando y ya tarde eh, entré a la, a la clase, casi como para las nueve. Entonces, solo estoy viendo, viendo, pero realmente no, no estuve desde un principio. Ah, ok. Thank you. Sí. Vamos a ver, Modesto, ¿le puede ayudar? On, exactly. It's a preposition on. For example... Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver un ejemplo. Um, for um, December 6th. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. No le pude escuchar. I couldn't hear you. I was born on December 6th. Excellent. Oh, really? My father was also born on December the 6th. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another question. Do you have to write dates and months with capital letter? It's a question for everyone. Yes, you need to write with the capital letter. The Excellent. Month. Yes, yes, you have to. Jenny Marisol, yes. no, sé si se, no sé si nos puede responder. Jenny Marisol, which preposition do you use for years? In. Exactly, very good, excellent. Muy bien, the last question, I think. Vamos a ver quién me falta, y me faltan varios, porque es a big group. Y ya solo tenemos dos minutos. Solo que no puedo ver, porque se me mueve la pantallita. When does the course end? 
Andrea Berenice. When does the course end? ¿Cuándo termina el curso? When does the course end? No estoy segura. <ríe> bueno, lo mandé en el WhatsApp. Twenty third. August twenty third. In August. In August. Uh -huh. If you want to say the specific date, the course ends on August 17th. 17th. Si no me equivoco, quiero. <laughs> Let me check. El 17, creo que dijo, teacher. Yes, August 17th. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Yeah, August 17th. <laughs> Ok, and that was it. Vamos a ver, ¿alguna preguntita? Tenemos un minuto para any question that you have. I have a question. I have a question, teacher. Eh, respecto al, al uso de la plataforma, ¿será con usted en el sentido de que el primer objetivo, segundo objetivo, se van a ver eh, en una semana, bueno, aunque allá dijeron que las tres secciones, pero yo digo para estudiarlo diariamente, si yo no puedo avanzar mucho, ¿cuál es lo específico que yo tengo que avanzar en el día lunes, martes, miércoles y jueves? Por ejemplo, de la sección 1. Ah, muy, muy bien. Eh, sí, como sí. ustedes ven, la sección 1 está un poquito larguita. Sí, es una clase de la Cruz Roja pero que no se la acerca, lo expulsan, eh, usted que... puede ah, avanzar claro. todo lo que pueda, todo lo que pueda en la plataforma. Sección 1, 2, 3 o 4, usted puede avanzar todo lo que pueda, ¿verdad? En la plataforma no hay un límite. De hecho, pues sería mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Que ustedes vayan avanzando y vayan a incluso adelante de la clase. Así, cualquier duda que tengan, la podemos resolver juntos. Ok, y la otra es en cuanto al progreso, porque la, a la tabla, a la, a la gráfica, porque yo he estado trabajando en ejercicios y esperaba encontrar en la gráfica que dijera sección 1, sección 2, así como nos lo plantearon en la videoconferencia de inicio, pero no lo encuentro así. Todas esas dudas, ¿a quién le puedo plantear? Porque siento que si tengo errores o no tengo errores para ir avanzando o no avanzando, ¿es con usted o, o, con, o con los otros, sus compañeros? Vaya, algo muy bonito de la plataforma es que usted puede hacer los ejercicios muchas veces hasta que, hasta que le entienda y dé la respuesta correcta. Usted lo puede hacer y eso le beneficia a usted porque eso va a mejorar su nota. ¿Verdad? Puede llegar al 100%. Ahora bien, si algunos ejercicios no son evaluados, no le va a aparecer en la gráfica. En la gráfica le va a aparecer las, las que sí son evaluadas. Ajá, Pero... ok. Por... Es que yo tengo dudas porque he hecho ejercicios y me aparece en la gráfica HW. Entonces no entiendo si es homework o qué es esa abreviatura. Sí, es homework. A, a eso me refiero. Entonces, y como he estado trabajando de varias secciones, entonces no sé si es de la sección 1, sección 2, porque me fui hasta la sección 2 y 3 equivocadamente, porque según yo no estaba inscrita y estaba jugando, y después me di cuenta que ya estaba inscrita. Entonces, bueno, pues ahora, fue, si ¿cómo uso? hago? Ajá, por eso preguntaba, ¿en el chat o, o, o algún de sus compañeros para salir de duda de todo eso? Sí, si gusta puede escribirme en el chat privado, ¿verdad? Y vemos okay, ahí gracias. para resolver sus dudas. Bueno, es hora de finalizar la clase. It's time to end the class. Ok, it was a pleasure to meet you and to be here with you. And let's um, wait for tomorrow to see you again. Ok, have a nice night. Good night, everyone. Teacher, una pregunta, teacher. Good night.